Hello everyone, winter ended forever ago, but welcome back to Nightmare of the Snow. Alrighty, I'm glad it didn't take me another try to get the title right, because I've been playing Night in the Woods so many times. <laughs> that was the first thing I said, and I, that's like the wrong game and everything. <laughs> but anyway, I forgot that was the elevator. It's been quite a long time since I last played this game and uh, where am I going oh yeah <laughs> yeah so I feel very rusty with this one but I'm gonna do my best to try to move on and figure out what to do as Taiga well that's a place to go to hopefully it's a nice place Let's see the secret chamber do not proceed further without permission Okay, I assume that means I'll probably die if I try. So I'm not gonna go there for now, just in case. I already made it here, I shouldn't go empty. Oh, go out empty handed. Oh, I didn't think there was anything to grab. So if I see Nere. Okay. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to do anything here, but alright. Is that a thing? That's a nope. So, you know, I'm in an area that I'm not allowed to be in. What you gonna do about that? These things look familiar. Weren't they in that other place with the... Uh, with Yuki? Huh. Maybe it'll tie in somehow. Ooh, but here's a switch. Aha, uh -huh, I was correct. And why am I not doing anything about it? I have no idea. And it doesn't look like there's anything else, so why couldn't I just mess with that? Unless there's something else to toy with. What is this? Okay, that's a wall. Forget about that. Can I read these? Nope. I forgot I could run. I should have been doing that this whole time. Okay. There's really nothing here. Why can't I mess with this? Oh, I can mess with that. Seems like this is what my dad was hiding from me. Among all of the books, only one caught your attention. The Kirihara family's legendary sword. The Kirihara family was known for its talented blacksmiths. Many vicious swords were created by their hands. But there's one katana that is unlike the others. Normally katana are used to kill people, but there's one katana that is made exclusively for slaying evil spirits. Mm. The katana is called... Kuor... Kuori Tsurugi, which means ice sword. Okay. Using the element and soul of ice, the katana is able to freeze evil spirits and seal them inside it. When a katana is used to kill a person, it will freeze the entire body of its victim. After freezing the victim, the user is able to shatter the frozen victim to pieces. Shade... Seijiro Kirihara uses the sword whenever he's going out to fight a war. That's why every time the Kirihara family went to war, scattered pieces of ice were seen everywhere on the battlefield. Interesting. Even so, the main purpose of the katana is to slay evil spirits. When Suuchi became the head of the family, uh, Seijiro told him to hide the katana in a well. Seijiro put a spell on the katana so that when a worthy user came, the katana will emerge from the well. Ah. Kurori Tsurugi. Hopefully I am saying that name right. What the hell was that? Ugh, my head. That doesn't sound like a good thing. Don't get in my way. I'm doing this for her own good. Liar. Up until now you've been hurting her feelings. And now you're trying to sacrifice her for a ritual? You know nothing about the ritual. Now leave this place or else. You are the one who doesn't know. If you still insist on doing that ritual, I'll stop you right here and now. Don't you understand? This is for her own good. You wish for that too, don't you, ha Haruto? That's why I'm going to stop you, Suchi Kirihara. Where did you get that katana? Does it matter? Fight now, you sick old bastard. Okay. Interesting. Would have been nice to see a visual with that. But I guess we could just picture that in our head. Urgh. 
Well, that wasn't my memory. Uh, uh, thinking, huh? There's something on the next page. It's my house entrance key. Yay! I can finally get out of here. Neat. Well, mission complete. Now I can exit this alternate version of my house. Yes, you can. Hopefully. And why does it seem like... I have to do this? I'm gonna just leave it there just in case. I, I know I wanted to go back. But I forgot what save it was in. So I'd rather just... Not save in 10 and skip 11 so I could just remember that. Alrighty. Now... Now to get out of here. Because I got a bad feeling. I gotta run for my life. Right? Hopefully I don't have to screw up. Huh. The, why why the door won't open like before? There's a note on the door. The switch to open the door is behind the bookshelf. Oh great. What a drag. I'll have to use the switch then. Why? I could have... I should have just pressed it earlier. <laughs> we found another body. Huh? Yep, that's bad news, alright. Don't tell me. Get him. Whoa. What are they? Corpses? This is bad. I'm trapped. Okay, yeah, this is bad. Oh, oh. They almost got me there. Nope. Nope, you're not gonna get me. You are not gonna get me. Come on, hit the switch. Something seems to be open. Okay, good. That is a good sign. That is a very good sign. Now, please don't kill me. Whew, that was close. Oh, that was way too close. Okay. Whew. God damn it. I thought I was done for. I don't think this is over yet. I should be prepared. With what? <laughs> oh, maybe like saving. That... That sounds like a very good idea. Alright. Save. That is done. Now let's vamoose. Up, up, and away. Assuming I'm going up and not down, right? Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that is not a good sign at all. That's just fantastic. Okay, but I'm glad I, I saved right there because then I would have to start over. Okay, so, note to self, beware of the corpses, they is everywhere, and literally, like, way too close to comfort. Shut up. Okay, we got this. And I screwed up already. Damn it. <laughs> okay. I got it this time. It's gonna happen. I'm not gonna mess up this time. Attempt 3 will be the way out. It will be the solution that will end this madness. Current madness. Okay. I don't know where I'm at. I can't tell what's going on. It is way too dark. But hey, I made it. Am I out? Not quite, am I? <laughs> Damn it. Okay. I, I got out in that one room, so you could give me a little bit of credit on that one. <laughs> But yeah, I know. I didn't get out completely. Didn't dodge them all. But I'ma get it this time. It's gonna be good. Just wait and see. This one's gonna be the winner. And this is where I screwed up. Oh wait, there it goes. I'm a little nervous <laughs> where to go. Because it's so hard to tell. Where everything is at, and I almost died right there. Please, please let me get out of here. Please let me get out. Please let me get out. Please let me out. Please let me out. Please let me out. That was super close. Wait. Oh, so many of them right there. You saw that? Huh. Huh? Where am I now? Yeah, I need to know too. I need to know. Can I move? Whoa. Whoa. Sorry for scaring you. No, it's okay. I guess I'm a coward after all. Say, do you know a guy named Sochi Kirihara? Ding! That's my father's name. Where did you... Back then in the alternate version of my house, I discovered my dad's secret chamber. He kept several books regarding your family there. After reading them, suddenly I received some memory of a person that 
I even didn't know. Ding! That means you're the reincarnation of that person! Whoa! This just got real. What? I'm his reincarnation? What was that person's name? I think it was Haruto. Ding 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 ding! No way! You're the reincarnation of Haruto? Is he a part of the Kirihara family? Perhaps. No? Oh, he's my fiance. Oh, snaps. What? That explains why she didn't bother killing him. Well, I haven't seen Haruto's spirit in this lost dimension. I thought the residents of this lost dimension were only Kirihara's and the cursed victims. Well, I myself don't know very much about this lost dimension. Well, okay. By the way, I've been wanting to ask, how did you die? I don't know. I don't remember how or when I died. There's some fragment of my memories that had somehow disappeared. I see. I think those memories are owned by a corrupted version of me. Huh? A corrupted version of yourself? What do you mean by that? Ew. A double in case of trouble. I get it. So you haven't met her yet? Nope. I thought you were the one, seen Rita. If you meet her, run for your life. Otherwise, you'll be killed and become one of the wandering spirits. And your soul won't be able to pass to the other side. Oh, I wish I didn't mess up with uh, the other girl. To be continued? Oh, dang. Alrighty. Let's move on then. Does, does this mean we're going to be in chapter 3 now? Yeah. Kayako. Go on ahead, Yuki. I promise I'll catch up to you. Aw, oh, man. He'll keep your promise, right? Unfortunately, she could not. I've seen... I see you've made it this far, young miss. Huh? Well, oh, yeah! Hey, hey. Did you forget about me, young miss? I'm the historic headmaster of the Kirihara family, Seijiro Kirihara. You forgot my name, too. Well, yeah, I've made it this far. You've met your dark side, yes? Uh, yes. <laughs> ding, ding. How did you know about that? She's glaring at me right now, if you must know. Huh? Yeah. Right now, she's glaring at me with a pair of glowing red eyes. She looks ready to kill me if I step any further. That's not a good sign. Soon you'll face her in your own mind. Yeah, that's... That's bad news right there. Huh? What do you mean? Until then, prepare yourself, young miss. Well... I'm gonna meet the other me? Sounds bad to me. Of course, senorita. Can't think it's all good news. Right? Can I move? Oh, I can. Am I gonna meet her now? See, demon path. The warrior's den? The warrior's den? Doesn't sound good for me. Nothing in this place is good. Just me. So what's in this place? Do I need to worry about this area? A mirror made of ice. Yas. I shall save. Wait, why does it say chapter 3? How come I didn't s You know what, never mind. Forget about it. We're in chapter 3, that's good to know. Oh, dang. And we're back in the snow. And that's not me moving there. What's happening? This place is a courtyard? What a family. They own many residents. Residencies, multiple open fields, and also expensive looking furniture from the era. Indeed. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Chapter 3, Yukiko. Fabulous. Now to read whatever's here. There's a note on the floor. Shirokage Ray's Paranormal Investigation Part 7. The Kirihara family has a unique residency for their samurai. Apparently, the rooms were lined up and designed like jails. The residency was called the Warrior's Den. Here in the Warrior's Den, only the strong survive. I found out that every day, Sochi ordered the samurai to fight against each other. That is how Sochi separated the weak from the strong. 
Seiko would later on would later come and tend the wounded ones. Seiko seemed popular among the samurai. Whenever they were about to get killed, Seiko stepped in and stopped the duel. That's all, that's all the samurai spirits told me about this place. And I guess that's all there is to know about that part. The warring courtyard. This place feels very open. Okay. This is just the side that's open. But there is to see. There is to see things. There is things to see. What is wrong with me? <laughs> okay. It's fine though. There's a coin on the table. Oh dang, 100 yen. Haven't really used most of my coins, have I? Don't know if I really need to. So, let's see what this gets. The warrior's den has an extremely dangerous security system installed in it. Let me guess, more spikes. When the night comes, the guards will activate the security system. It is to make sure that the samurai aren't sneaking around or trying to escape. Escape from what? The security system consists of Pi something O Ray. P.K. Ra. Dark. Sle. T. Er. Fabulous. I need to remember that. It's a good thing I got my notebook. I'm not sure if I do need to, like, have this written down, but just in case, you never know. And. Okay, the rest of the notes are covered in dried blood. It can't be read anymore. That is quite a shame. Alrighty. So, what do we have here? That's nothing important. How about this room? Wait, that's where I came from. Oh god, <laughs> I forgot already. That's terrible. <laughs> Ooh, more notes. Tell me. Oops, I am pressing the wrong button. There we go. Let's see. Shirokage Ray's Paranormal Investigation Part 8. Fancy. Inside the warrior's den, uh, the main building, there's a vengeful spirit that will keep stalking you. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. After further investigation, I found out that the stalking spirit was no other than the headmaster of the den, Hiroshi Kirihara. He was Suuchi's younger sibling. Not only is he, is he a skilled swordsman, but he is also the only shinobi in the family. That's right, he's the only in the family that knows how to use ninjutsu. Fabulous. Hiroshi died of tuberculosis. After that, his spirit began to haunt the den, even before the mansion was destroyed during World War II. His spirit, however, will only attack you in the darkness. It is advisable to avoid dark places inside this building. Terrific. Terrific. And hence a reminder of why I am not a fan of the dark. You know, because uh, now we're going to have to deal with that guy. Not cool. Jail door is locked. All of these going to be locked? Probably yes. But just in case, I shall check all of them. Locked. 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 Maybe at some point I'll be able to open them up. And this place is dark. Let's not be in there. And why is it snowing in there? Who knows? Currently, I, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> And more darkness. Why can't I move? What? Oh no. No way. How am I gonna go back in there? That is just fantastic. What is this? There's a note. Today we were told by Mr. Sochi to feed some of the warrior with foods that were sprinkled with Miss Seiko's newly made poison in order to just how does the poison work. Okay. Miss Seiko were against this of course, but Mr. Sochi forced us to do it. If we didn't do it, he would put us in the torture chamber. A few minutes later, after the warrior finished eating the meal, they suddenly got seizures and eventually passed out. When one of our guardsmen approached him, he suddenly woke up and chewed our guardsman's face. Yeah, that's pretty gross. The poison seemed to turn them into a carnivorous, carnivorous being. We had to lock him inside his room. Mr. Sochi forgot about the warrior as well. We need to report this to Mr. Sochi ASAP. Maybe that's what they mean by the, the the thing that's roaming around here. The bad bad news status and and I just used up all the saves. Oh, terrific. Okay, maybe I'll be fine though. The jail door is locked. Okay, I think I gotta make a run for it every time. What is this? Well, apparently can't look at that. I'm gonna have to try to open one of these doors. And it's even darker. I am going to die. Do I want to go? Oh, no, not yet. I want to 
Oh, okay, there's nothing here. Never mind. Then I guess I do want to go downstairs. Sure, I do want to die. <laughs> no, I don't. Please help. <laughs> Let's see. You unlock the door. Yay! And it is so far safe. Cool. And that's... That's a ghost there. Let's see. There's a guard's journal on the bookshelf. First, let's read into this. And then we'll find out what's on the floor. And then we'll uh, we'll talk to that ghost. Six samurai were added. Killed zero, wounded, 57. Sheesh. Today we saw a you... A you... <laughs> a new young samurai that Mr. Suruchi told us about uh, him two days ago. During the duel session, he struck his opponents like thunder and lightning. We guards were completely speechless to his... Due to his amazing and deadly skill. However, he didn't kill them, nor injure them. He basically slashed his opponents with the backside of the katana. He also used several ma martial art moves rather than using his katana. Dang. Damn skills. His kindness was really something. He even helped us bring the food to the samurai. He also tends his opponent's injury after duel sessions. I think the new samurai could win a duel against Miss Sochi. Who knows, he might become the successor of the Kirihara family. Interesting information. Not sure if it's going to be useful, but I did find a coin. Yoding. Which I don't know if I'll be needing for anything special. Blue Spirit. Oh, it's you, Miss Yukiko. How are you doing? I'm not Yukiko. So I'm guessing then she is a reincarnation of her, right? If they did mention that... And I probably forgot at this point because it's been so long. Just a reminder. <laughs> Alright, there it goes again. Your strange joke. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> okay, that's it? That's all? Oh man, I thought that was going to get more important info on that guy. But no, we got nothing. Okay, so this room is a dud. Good to know, I guess. Oh, this is like the outside-ish area. Hmm. Okay, I think that's where I came from. So how about going... Nope, that's locked. That's also locked. And yeah, there's a light. Whew, close. Also locked. Another locked door. Are any of these going to be open? Nope. Is this where I really came in though? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not sure if I need to worry about this area. But still, I am worried. <laughs> Door is locked. Okay, this one has to be open. Uh-huh. That uh, is the right. There's a guard journal. Another one. Let's see. 12-4-9-11. 1911. My bad. Killed 3, wound 21. It seems that lately many samurai have gone stronger for some reason. The death count slowly increased from day to day. If they get too strong, we might not be able to keep them from rampaging during the duel se session. Alright. There's another one. The 19th. Killed 12, wounded 20. Again, the samurai got stronger. If this continues, we might be in crisis of military power. I must report this to Mrs. Soochi immediately. 26. Killed 0, wounded 56. No one was killed in the duel session today. With the total number of 60 extremely skilled samurai, I think we might not have a military power crisis for a while. And that's, that's all we got here. Another coin, maybe? Oh. Or not. There are two pieces of paper on the floor with some kind of spell written on it. Ah, Fudas! Cool. It's fabulous. And there is a lot of blood here. And no sign of a door. So I guess we're done with this place? Hmm. I was expecting there to be much more. I hope I didn't miss anything. Okay, I think I did check those areas. Did I check here? Oh, I did not. And I hear ruckus outside. Outside the game. But I think it's nothing to worry about. For now. Ooh, there's a soda machine. Would I like to buy a drink? No, I don't think so. I don't think I need to. 
And... Wait, you weren't there on that side, right? Wait, I'm seeing the- I'm seeing this side. Let's have a chit-chat, mister. Or missus. I thought no one would come to the den again. Oh, so these are the prisoners that were left here. Got it. Ooh, and this is a safe place. Cool. Alrighty. I am going to save on top of this one. And let's see. There's nothing else here. No one. Nothing. Okay. Nothing else to see, I guess. How about here? Okay. I don't remember if I did check there, but figured why not. Okay, and now to see if there was another place that I might have missed. Because I'm pretty sure I did miss something. Did I go here? Ooh. Pure darkness. I can't see anything in here. Well, I brought my phone this time. I can use its camera flash to illuminate the room even just for a split second. Okay, yeah, no. That's a bad... Okay, apparently I do have to do this. Okay, in order to use the phone's camera flash, press A. Okay. There's a dead body. And I can't move. Okay, I don't like that sound. I think I made it somewhere. Nope. <gasps> okay. You do that. Nope. Ugh, the air feels heavy inside. Oh, I don't want to go in there. Oh, okay. I am probably going to die. Oh god, I hate this right now. The door is shut by an unknown force. You can also hear a conversation from it. Oh, great. What? Haru Rienkar? I wonder who's behind this door. <gasps> the door is shut by an unknown force. Okay. Well, that sucks. Okay. I don't like that sound. Ooh, I made it inside somewhere. I don't like that sound. I can't tell what's happening. There we go. I knew it was a key. Whoa! And I accidentally skipped a little too much. Whoa! I kind of I wanted to be a little louder, but people can hear me. <laughs> don't run away. Let me go. Uh oh. Yeah, that's a bad sign. I died, didn't I? Ugh. How long have I passed out? Ah, what? My arm. Wait, what? My left arm is twisted! <gasps> the bones are broken totally. I think it's bleeding eternally. Internally. This is bad. I'll have to fix it somehow. Maybe twisting it back? Can I not? Wow, it hurts. It hurts. Ah, ah. Yeah, that sounds really bad. Did I die? No? Okay. Whew. At least this is what I can do to avoid further damage. That's a big ol' ouchie. Oh yeah, the key. I need to find a... Ooh, I got a security key. I need to find, uh, that one little, little, little round thing that's got a sign on it that lets, that lets me heal completely. And I just realized I've been in the dark for a little too long there. I can't tell what else is here. Wait, can I go in here now? No, I can't. Okay, no time to go in that other place. Whew, I did not like that place at all. It was horrible. Okay, so I want to go back and save that because that was... That was, uh... I, I don't want to, you know, ruin the chances of having a... 
do more things and end up dying in the progress because in the process I mean because uh, that was a lot and a lot of difficultness you know and uh, let me see I'll save on top of this also it's been past 30 minutes since I've been playing so I think I'm just gonna take a break from here and continue in a while so thanks for sticking around and I'll see you guys next time bye bye